Hi everyone. If you're like me, you might have a little bit of, a, of an intolerance when it comes to dairy products, milk, cheese, yogurt, those kind of things. And so it's really comforting to know that there are are alternatives out there and yummy licious alternatives and I'm here today with James the veggie man Johnson who's gonna walk us through how to make your own veg well vegan I was gonna say vegetarian vegetarian vegan, vegan yeah. cheese who knew thank and you so much for being on the show thanks so much for having me here and what were you gonna say about your cheeses it's one of those recipes where a lot of people really really like cheese I mean uh -huh. I haven't met a person that doesn't like cheese uh -huh. and this is a great alternative to bring to a party or a special occasion where you can kind of show off the ability to make something that's really tasty uh -huh. that tastes like cheese but has the health benefits of the ingredients that we're gonna put in it fantastic now a lot of people say to me when they're going plant-based one of the hardest things for them to give up is the cheese hands down it was for me, it was for the rest of my family, for mm -hmm. the kids that, that eat a lot of cheese. And hopefully by you know, learning recipes like this, uh -huh. you'll be able to cut that you know, addiction out and, and eat a little something healthier. A little something healthier. Now, before we go through it all, you are, hold on, there's a whole big mouthful of things that you are. And one of them is a chef. You are an author. You have written this fabulous double-sided book, How to Cook Without Having a Cow. And on the flip side, what the health are you eating? I like that. Thanks. <laughs> so when did you write these books? This came this out in 2006. Okay. So that, that it, it kind of describes my journey into the, the plant-based whole food world. And I really wanted to encourage people that it doesn't have to be that hard. When you see what we're going to be making today, it's quick, it's easy, and anybody can do it. So tell us about your journey. How did you get into <laughs> all of this? I, I got inspired by my wife who was born and raised vegetarian. Awesome. And I was just so surprised that she never ate meat. And it's like, how is that possible? Uh-huh. So she encouraged me to just to try it, and I did. And so I ended up doing all the cooking because she wasn't really much of a cook. She <laughs> ate a lot of plain food. <laughs> she really said, wasn't much. You, you want to say that on TV, really? No, <laughs> she, she, and, she, and she's the opposite. She does okay. all the building <laughs> okay. at home. So yeah, no, we, we love our roles. It's, it's kind of a role reversal. Uh-huh. So I was inspired to make it taste the way I was used to eating. Okay. So I had I wanted the rich flavors because I was coming off the standard American diet. Right. So I, I needed to learn to make it taste good and then up, you know approach it plant-based and, and more whole foods. Now when you say she had never eaten meat from childhood? From kinda, childhood. It's kind of like my husband. He's the right. same way. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so today we're going to be making yummy delicious cheese. Now I've had some of your cheese before. It's really, really good. So Th this one I call Vorzin. It's kind of, uh -huh. it's, it's, you might be familiar with the cheese on the market called Vorzin with, yes, with a B. This is the vegan version of Vorzin. So okay. it's a, like a cream cheese, spreadable mm -hmm. cheese mm -hmm. that's good on crackers or bread. And again, that, a, a great cheese to bring to a, a party or something Perfect. that you want to enjoy at home. Okay. So let's dive right into it. What are these wonderful ingredients in the Well, the first us? ingredient, or the main ingredient of the cheese, this is hard for some people to understand. Mm -hmm. It's tofu, uh -huh. which, you know, I've, I've had this cheese at, at cheese festivals, and people, you, that's not the first thing you want to tell them because <laughs> they get kind of yeah. turned off by the, the fact true. that you're putting beans and making cheese with beans. So uh, you got it almost try to believe it because at first when I saw it, it there's like no way how can you make soy beans into a cheese but we're going to do that now and I encourage you not to get um, disheartened <laughs> yeah because it's like, okay. like tofu by itself it's got a very bland taste absolutely it takes on the flavors of, of whatever you cook with it which makes it so versatile right so you can make cheesecakes you can make dips exactly. all kinds of things so Let's let's go right into it. Hold on, you've got this. Um, there's different kinds of tofu. You mm -hmm. brought a few different kinds here. Why are you using the kind that you are using? This is a, a pack that I got at Costco. Mm -hmm. It says a three pack. It's very affordable, and the the pack comes with pressed tofu and regular tofu. And what the type of tofu you need to buy is the extra firm tofu. That's what okay. is going to make the cheese firm up, along with the organic coconut oil that we're going to be using right. to make it. Uh, look like cheese. So make sure you buy extra firm tofu mm -hmm. and it, it's up to you whether you want to go uh, pressed. Most stores don't sell the pressed tofu. That's right. 
it, they sell just the extra firm. Okay. Now in that case, all you have to do is cut open the package and most packages are coming at a, a 350 gram package. Mm -hmm. You cut open the package and you'll notice it's packed with water. Yes. So all you do is you take the, um, take the tofu, put it in a, a nut bag. Now a nut bag is just a, a simple bag made out of a, a, a tightly woven cloth mm -hmm. and it's going to take the water out of the, the tofu for us giving us a, a nice crumbly texture to make the cheese the way we want it to be performed in the, the food process. Right, okay. Okay, I'm going to squeeze this and w what we want to do is try to get as much moisture out of the tofu as possible. So you can see the, the soybean juice come out of the bag and you can get these nut milk bags at any health food store on online Amazon. Just type in nut milk bag Great. and that's going to get the moisture uh, out of the tofu making it uh, even firmer than what it already is. Okay, so if you had maybe like a, um, a cheesecloth, would that work as well? A, a, a cheesecloth, yeah. just double up the layer double, of the cheesecloth okay. and it does the same thing. All right. Now worse comes to work, worse, I mean if you don't have a nut milk bag, just crumble it in your hands, get the moisture Squeeze out it. as much as you can. Uh -huh. okay. You can see some moisture comes out of the uh, out of the bag. Right. It's not going to matter too, too much if you don't have a nut milk bag. Okay, good stuff. The next ingredient is refined organic coconut oil. Now it's refined, so that means? That means that it doesn't have any coconut smell uh -huh. or flavor. Okay. So you can use regular coconut oil, but that's going to give you um, a hint of coconut smell and flavor in your cheese, right. which most cheese doesn't taste or smell like coconut. So um, again, at the health food store or some other stores, um, you want to look for the refined version instead of the virgin, the okay. the, the, yeah, organic virgin coconut oil, which is the most common one. Great. Okay. So that's the coconut oil that you're going to add to it. What else? So what we're going to do is we're going to take scoop out six tablespoons of coconut oil mm -hmm. and you're going to put it over the stove or a microwave and you're going to melt the si six tablespoons of coconut oil and add it to your food processor. And what that does is it's going to make the soybean uh, or the tofu come together mm -hmm. and mix all the ingredients that we're going to add to it. Nice. Next is uh, four cloves, cloves of uh, garlic. Gotta have garlic. Yeah, so, so if you want it more garlicky, add more. If you okay. want it less, add less. If you want less friends, add more. Yeah, right. okay, <laughs> all right. Next is, um, if you're not familiar with this product, I mean, everyone should. It's got so many health be benefits. It does. Uh, so it's raw, organic apple cider vinegar. We're gonna add two teaspoons of that. Okay, perfect. The processor. And what is that gonna do in the recipe? That's gonna give it the tang. So okay. it's, it's very, um, it's kind of like sour. It's mm -hmm. like fermented apple juice. Okay, so how about lemons? Lemon juice. We're going to add two tablespoons of lemon uh -huh, juice. Okay. And that's usually, uh, you know, if you have a large lemon, that's mm -hmm. going to be half Tough. of a large lemon. So there that's two go. tablespoons of lemon juice Perfect. added to your food processor. Uh huh. And then next, this is a really important step. We're going to add uh, one table, a teaspoon of onion powder, Good one and stuff. a half uh, teaspoons of salt. Yep. And then we're going to turn the food processor on. And you'll notice that we're, we've got four herbs left over, and we don't want to add those right at the beginning, or else it's going to turn the cheese the same color as uh, the herbs. Of course. So it's going okay. to be like a, an eerie green cheese. All right. So all we have to do is now that all the ingredients, or most of the ingredients are in the food processor, we're going to turn it on. And we're going to turn it on so that it's on long enough that it turns this tofu creamy. That's, okay. that's the goal there. Let's... And that's usually longer than what most people think. All right. But how long is that? I'd say at least three minutes. Okay. And you can taste it. If you if you do a sample tasting of what's in your container, if you feel little bitties or the chalkiness of the tofu, you need to blend it a little, a little bit, bit longer. More. Okay. Let's go. Give it a whirl. So you start seeing it ball up. That's a good sign. Oh, okay. Good stuff. Now, could you put this in like your Vitamix blender? No, no. Vitamix, it's too thick. Okay. Yeah. It will just stop and... That's just not enough liquid. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I mean, if you don't have a food processor, you can always visit your, your local Salvation Army or your uh -huh, store. Uh -huh. I mean, for $8, $10, you get a, a food processor that will, will do this oh, job nicely. We want to sc scrape down the sides so that um, all the tofu that we're blending up with to make the cheese mm -hmm. gets into the main mixture at the bottom of the, where, the, where the blades are. For sure, yeah. And it's looking pretty creamy already. It is. So, yeah. But maybe just a little bit... Uh, a little bit more and then more, we're yeah. ready to, to add the herbs. Okay. Yeah. 
So that looks like it's creamy enough. What we're gonna do now is take apart, make sure you're safe with taking out the, the S blade of the food processor. Right. We're gonna spoon out the mixture and you can see it's, it's good and creamy. Mm -hmm. We're gonna spoon it out into a bowl and then we're gonna add the, the different herbs to this mixture. Now you might be thinking why we were, why wouldn't we just add the herbs to the mixture? It's because if you leave it on too long, it's gonna turn the cheese green because of the, the chives and the parsley and the basil. Okay, so. well that looks really nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. You smell that nice garlic. Yeah, you can smell mm -hmm. the garlic. Perfect. And you can taste it at this point too. Uh huh. And you get used to uh, what it's supposed to taste like. And like I said, you can add more or less garlic as your, your flavor taste buds dictate. Perfect. That's it there. Okay. And then here are the herbs. So we've got uh, two teaspoons of basil. We got four teaspoons of parsley. We got one teaspoon of black pepper and four teaspoons of chives. Perfect. So you're just gonna add those to the bowl. And just mix it all up. And mix it all up. It's easy as pie. it's easier than pie. This is a <laughs> lot easier than pie. <laughs> okay. And so just oh, make sure the herbs are, are well incorporated into the to the mixture. So you take an appropriate container where you, you want to put the cheese mm -hmm. and you might be thinking to yourself, why are we using the saran wrap? And it's a, just an easy way to have the cheese set in the container and then to extract the cheese from the container. All you have to do is lift up on the saran wrap and, and it pops out. True, otherwise can, it'll stick to the container. Right. And, okay. You'll be digging yeah. it out of the container. Yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, so all you do is uh, spoon out the cheese, put uh -huh. it in the container. That looks good. That looks really good. And you can mold the cheese after it's hardened. And you, so the set time for this cheese is about six to eight hours. I usually make it, say, the night before, um, and then you just put it in your, your uh, frid refrigerator, mm -hmm. and then it's going to get a lot more firmer than what you see it here in the, in the mold. Okay. So you wouldn't want to, um, if you were short on time, you wouldn't necessarily want to put it in the freezer. That's just a bit too... You know, you could. Uh -huh. I mean, you can taste it if you want to have a, a sampling of it now. The flavors definitely merge together uh -huh. and combine really well if it has a set time of the six okay. to eight hours. Right. So I, I encourage people just to do it the day before of, of when you want to eat it. Mm -hmm. And then this is what it looks like of the finished product. So you'll, you'll see it's, it's firm. If you right. want it a, a little bit more spreadable, which some people do, mm -hmm. you can just add a splash of non-dairy like soy milk, almond milk, okay. cashew milk, uh -huh. to make it a little bit more spreadable. But you'll see, I mean, if I, if I put some on the, on the bread here, it does um, spread quite nicely. So you can use it for- Oh yeah, you know, very nice. Use it on, on bread or crackers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, you doing yeah, that for yeah, me? For sure. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I get to try this. Let's see, I need a piece with a big piece. <laughs> what do you think? Mm, 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 mm. So that's uh, what I call borzen. Oh, this is so good. And you sell this at the market. I have sold it at mm -hmm. the, the local farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And I've also highlighted it at a, um, a local cheese festival, which people mm -hmm. are very surprised. Like I said, I don't, mm -hmm. uh, my, the first line out of my mouth isn't, oh, try my cheese made from uh, so tofu. <laughs> you know, they usually ask later after mm -hmm. they try because mm -hmm. you would never know that, that's made with you soybeans. You would never know that, absolutely. Claim your tofu, you should be out there, yeah. No, this is really good and it's really important because as you said, people don't realize that you can do so much with tofu. Mm -hmm. And the things it's so good for you. It is, I mean, if you look at the, mm. the nutrition, mm -hmm. nutritional, I mean, this is, there's um, uh, 68 grams of protein in a block in of block. Tof tofu, so yeah. I mean, for people that are, you know, concerned, which a lot of people have, that's the exactly. first question. Where do you get your protein? So, yeah. Right here, right 60 here. 60% uh, calcium mm -hmm. in the tofu, so it's perfect. It's, it's a healthy, a lot healthier alternative than regular dairy cheese. Absolutely, sure. this is not going to clog your arteries. This is not going to give you heart disease. This is actually going to nourish your cells, nourish your body. Awesome! Thank you for being here. No problem. Thanks this for is so delicious and so easy to do. Any parting words for us? I know you've got um, some big plans happening this year, a vegetarian food fest and stuff that's going to be happening. Possibly, so. the, the very first Okanagan Veg Fest. Mm -hmm. so we want to get that up and, up and running. Right. And, and just a, a word with the recipes. 
I know it might look intimidating. I think it's really easy, but it's not easy unless you do it. So take action, buy a block of tofu, and most people will have the, the herbs in their in their kitchen. Absolutely, and you can add other herbs as for you sure, like sure. to flavor it differently, mm -hmm. put other things, oh, yeah, play with it, have yeah. fun with Try it. Try it once and, and you'll be hooked and you'll boost up your confidence for making things with tofu. It just becomes easier and easier the more you do it. Absolutely, thanks. You're welcome.